take at the end of the message we'll take five prayer points then we'll continue again tomorrow now tomorrow is the last day of the prayer and fasting we'll be taking covenant scriptures there are some scriptures we are going to hold so tomorrow i'll just teach briefly then we are going to pray pray and pray holding on the word of god hallelujah now what's the theme of our prayer meeting again these three days purpose for great grace we are asking for great grace i told us yesterday that when you receive great grace it means that you must do exploit and i told us yesterday don't stay where you used to be this month there must be something new that you should embark on embark on something new this month did you hear me embark on something new this month that you'll have to push through to finish that idea you have that has been lingering make sure that this month execute it that vision that god has given to you that you have been postponing the date that you will start make sure that it is this month that you will start it that instruction that god has given to you that you've been afraid of starting take steps today the lord will give you victory in jesus mighty name we saw three things yesterday yesterday i showed us three reasons why people experience limitation why some people don't live where they are now what's the first one we, we saw it that people are limited because they believe what they hear they believe everything they hear especially the wrong things that they hear you know when people say certain things cannot happen uh, they just hold on to it and they allow it to limit their lives and we held on lamentation chapter 3 that 7 yesterday the bible says who is that that will speak and it will come to pass when the lord have not said so that the only word that is final is the word of god i told us yesterday every other word can be changed but only the word of god is final then i said number two people are limited people suffer limitation because of what they see happen that they believe they see certain things happen and they choose to believe it that well if it has happened to Lagbaja like this maybe that's how it will be happening to all of us that's why some people are limited though they believe in what is happening that what is happening to everyone will happen to them now we all know that we are in the same nigeria now in this same nigeria some people are shouting the economy is bad but some people in this same nigeria are saying ah this is the best season of their lives you know so don't believe that whatsoever is happening that is negative should happen to you i said that yesterday and the last one we said before we prayed is that people suffer limitation uh, because of the things they fear because of the things they fear people suffer they are afraid to take steps i'm afraid though ah if i take this step i don't know what it will result in i'm afraid out of fear so they decide to stay glued in one position and i told you for good 40 days israel suffered stagnation because all of them were afraid until one man came up to say no no i will not allow fear to stop me again i will move out of this realm they moved and they eventually conquered their enemy so today we are in day two we are going to go to first samuel chapter 17 and verse 48 what is the the, the, the my focus today now i have a simple focus what it takes to do exploit so put it under the topic this topic for the, the second day what it takes to do exploit what does it take to do exploit that's the second question i'm answering you know we answered one yesterday and what was the one we answered yesterday why is it that a lot of people experience limitation in areas of their lives today and we answered it so today what does it take to do exploit i'll be answering it by showing you what it takes to do exploit first samuel chapter 17 verse 48 to verse 50 what does it take to do exploit or what it takes thank you what it takes to do exploit how many of you want to do exploit yeah you don't want to my sister you don't want to you are still holding your hand you don't want to <laughs> or are you shy to do exploit ah, don't be shy to do exploit oh. and don't you don't owe anybody any apology when you are doing exploit some you must understand that some people will not like you when you begin to do exploit and understand this truth about life you can't be everybody's friend 
Me, I've, under, I, I've gotten that fact long before now. I cannot be everybody's friend. And it was the day I got that fact that I started to progress. When you try to be everybody's friend, you want to please everybody. And if care is not taken, you will displease yourself. So I will say it. First Samuel 17, 48 to verse 50. Let's have it on screen. Thank you. Let's rise up. It's our first Bible reading. Let's read together and let's read it boldly. After the count of three. One, two, and three. And it came to pass. I'm only hearing my voice. Okay, let's go. And it came to pass. When the Philistines arose and came and drew near to meet David, that David hasted and ran towards the army to meet the Philistine. Now he's talking about Goliath. And let's go. And David put his hand in his bag and took thence a stone and slung it and smote the Philistine in his forehead that the stone sunk into his forehead. And he fell upon his face to the earth. Verse 50. We stop at verse 50. Let's go. So David prevailed over the Philistine with a sling and with a stone. And smote the Philistine and slew him. But there was no sword in the hands of David. Father, this is your word. Give us deep understanding in Jesus' name. Let's have our seats. You're welcome. Let the teaching begin to roll. Now, if you look at this point, you know, we stopped somewhere yesterday. The Philistine, that's Goliath, threatened all Israel and everybody kept calm. But when David came out, David did something that I want you to learn from. He did something that I want you to learn from. Listen, when David took his stone and he was about to sling, to, you know, to sling the stone, David did not aim to sling the stone towards Goliath's feet. You know, if he had slung the stone towards Goliath's feet, he would have injured Goliath. Goliath would have fallen down. Praise the Lord. But Goliath would have stood up again. But look at where he aimed. The Bible calls it his forehead. Some old King James Version will say his temple. They call this place temple. Now, when he's, he slung it towards the forehead of Goliath, Goliath fell because David had a great target. What does it take to succeed? What does it take to do exploit? Hear me and hear me well. David did not aim for any other place than the forehead of Goliath. Listen, I wrote here, dream to do big things. Dream to do big things, even if you will have to start small. Now look at the look at the, the target of David. One of the reasons why a lot of people are not doing exploit today is this our aim, our target is too small. It's too small. I come again. It's too small. We don't have big dream. Now that's why so many of us have not moved out of where we are. We used to have a pastor, it's one of us in our church. Let me not say a pastor. Now, this uh, one of us. He had this bike. He has bike and he does bike business. So this particular day, I went to pray for his wife in the shop. The wife is an hairdresser. So while I was praying, where's your husband? He said, he's on his way coming. So the man came. You know what he did? He dropped soup stuff. The things that ingredients for soup for the wife. And the wife said, honey, uh, we are out of gas. We need gas. The man now said, eh, okay, let me quickly go and run around with my bike, get money for gas, and I'll be coming back. So he went. I was still there counseling the wife. He came back and gave her money to buy gas. And he ended the work for that day. I now ask him, how do you run your Okada business? He said, sir, I run my Okada business based on our daily need. He said, whatsoever we need for the day, I will run around to get it with my Okada business. And once I get it, I close for the day. Now, look at the man's aim. I know of people that run Okada, hear me, and they buy other Okadas. In case those of you watching from outside Nigeria, Okada is bike. They, they, will, they run the transport business with their bike. They buy others. 
some run the transport business with their bike and eventually buy car but the aim of this man all his dream is targeted at meeting their daily need so when the wife now told me I sat the man down I asked him the same question too he answered me do you have any other job you are doing he said no as long as this bike can feed us three times a day I'm satisfied it will feed us for three times no savings uh -uh. he said I'm satisfied and we have another brother in our church now this brother too runs this bike business and he told me he said Papa after I must have done the bike business I make sure I save two two thousand naira every day now one of our brothers so I save two two thousand every day he said he will run the expenses he will run around in his business make his profit remove two thousand for savings do you know that after some months this one that we run to meet daily expenses his bike broke down one day he didn't have savings to repair his bike again but the one that had savings is no longer riding bike he has bought he has advanced he uses car now he does transportation using car when I asked him how did you get money to buy a Mikra he said from our car business I told you sir how I used to make sales can I tell you this truth it is the level of your dream that determines the level of your greatness what did David do? He aimed at the forehead of Goliath. That's why I'm asking us today, what is your dream? If we are praying great grace and you have small dream, God won't give you great grace because he knows you will waste it. Now, it takes big dream to experience great grace. I wrote here, dream to do big things even if you will have to start small every child of God should in this service today begin to change your dream begin to change your, your dream because I will tell you five things now let's take notes there are five things your dream will do for you take note of each of those five things five things your dream will do for you number one it will guarantee sorry not guarantee it will generate for you I'm sorry not guarantee it will generate for you the will to keep moving no matter the obstacles on your way it will generate for you the will to keep moving no matter the level of obstacles you meet on your way do you know that it is dreamless people that quits easily but the bigger your dream the bigger your dream see the stronger your your will the bigger your dream the stronger 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 your will that's what gives you the courage and the boldness to keep moving I told myself when I was coming into ministry, I, Pastor Prince Will Afolabi, would be a mega church pastor. That's the dream I have. And do you know, that is what is keeping me moving. Despite all the obstacles on my way, I won't give up. Because I desire to manage a, a mega ministry. See, I hear. You see, people who don't have big dreams, it's not difficult for them to give up. They quit easily. Let's move on. It will generate for you the will to keep moving no matter the amount of obstacles on your way. I wrote here, people with big dreams don't agree to settle for anything less than their dreams. Go find out. People with big, big dreams, like, because let me tell you this, life will present to you several options. There are several options that life will present to you. Uh, uh, even if you are not going to be among the stars, why not fall among the cloud? Even if you are not going to be among the stars, why not fall among the birds? Even if you are not going to be among the birds, why not fall among the chickens? Even if you are not going to be among, life will show you several options. But it is your dream 
that will make you to say no this is not the kind of life I desire this is not the kind of life I so a lot of people have gotten to points in their life and they have decided to pl plateau but your dream will tell you no this is not your place your dream will tell you this is not your class that's why I pray if there is any way that your dream is dead I command your dream to be awakened within your heart in the name of Jesus it gives you reason not to settle for anything less than what you see because of the vision hear me because of the vision you know prophet Elisha did not give up you know he was following Elijah as Elijah's boy and he got to a point Elijah said you know what Elisha God is sending me uh, to so so and so place why not stay here but don't forget Elisha had a dream to receive the mantle of Elijah every time Elijah says stay here he will say no sir I won't stay may God deal with me if I settle for anything less than following you for the mantle he didn't give up a lot of us are giving up of in life settling for the less saying we are we are good at where we are now ask yourself is this the best that you can see for yourself if it is not the best that you can see for yourself don't stop there you keep fighting in the place of prayer you keep fighting in the place of actions until you get to the place of your dreams say i will get there i didn't hear you clearly shout it aloud you must get there i was listening to frank edwards now he said he learns from uh Sinaj that Sinaj has always desired to become an international singer. He said, so one day they went in for a rehearsal. He said he was shocked. Sinaj started rehearsing and did not end rehearsal from 9 p.m. till 6 a.m. the next day morning. Why? She wants to become an international singer. Because your body will want to tell you, sister, it's, it's, it's enough. Where you are, it's okay. Your friends will want to tell you, sister, it's enough. Where you are, it's okay. But see, your dream is the only one that cannot deceive you. Your dream will keep telling you, no, 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 no. You have not gotten there. You have not gotten there. You need to awake. You need to do more. You need to move on. So your dream is the reason why you will not settle for a lesser life. That's why you must dream like David. He aimed for the forehead, the temple of Goliath. I command your dream eye to open now in the name of Jesus. Ani oju to ye ko ma fi rinran la loruko Jesus mo ni ko be sin ishi. Every power that has blinded your spiritual eyes, I command such powers to be destroyed in the name of Jesus. May your eye open to begin to see big dreams in the name of Jesus. Number two thing that your dream will do for you. If your dream is big, number two Look at number two. It will not allow you settle for friendship with those who are not going your direction. I come again. Your dream will not allow you settle for friendship with those who are not going your direction. Can I tell you this truth? It is not everybody in life that wants to go to where you are going. Not everybody that wants to go to where you are going. It is your dream that will, that will choose for you your kind of friends. Praise the Lord. You know, when I was coming up uh, as a young pastor in ministry, I had a dream, like I told you. When it was time for me to choose who to marry, there were a lot of sisters in church. But because of my dream, it was my dream that determined the choice of the woman I married. How? I didn't want a woman that will just sit down that will not be able to contribute any quota to my own life I didn't want that kind of a woman I want a woman that will say okay if I face this direction you two can help me watch my back you two can help me do this area and do you know that today I thank God for it because I don't have to be everywhere your dream that's why I see I always tell young ladies and young brothers before you choose a partner conclude on your dream first where am i going once you know where you are going it will help you every man that is calling haste 
beautiful girl, sissy, sister, or different kind of names. It is your dream that will tell you the one that you cannot follow. Am I communicating? David aimed at the head. What are you looking at? What kind of life do you want to live? Do you just want to live like a bird? You know the life of a bird? If you are here, yeah. Bird doesn't have garden. He doesn't have field. He eats anywhere. They ask you, brother, how is your future? You say, ah, anything that goes, anything that comes, I receive. No, 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 no. Don't live like a bird. There must be a dream. Your dream is what allows you to settle for friendship with those, sorry, that, that does not allow you to settle for friendship with those that are not going your direction. Listen, you will notice that if you are a dreamer, your language won't be the same with some sets of people, with the wrong people. Your language will not be the same, so you will not be able to click. Where you are talking global, they are talking local, so you can't click. That's why I know the I know the number of friends I have in ministry. A lot of people say, oh, "Pastor Prince is my friend," I, but me, I know the number of friends because each day I program my day based on my dream. What's your dream? For you to do exploits, you must have big vision. Now, let me be true with this reading. You will notice that your language won't be the same because they are not going your direction. They won't understand you. There are certain things you want to do, they can't understand. And you two are wondering, I don't know why I don't have friends. I don't know, I try to make friends. After some time, they just disconnect with me. The reason is because you are not going their direction. If it happens like that, don't feel frustrated. God is taking you somewhere. You will get there in Jesus' name. Now, along the line, I studied the life of Prophet Elijah and his uh, protégé Elisha. They got to one place. The Bible says the sons of the prophets called Elisha and said, Elisha, come. Do you know that God is going to take your master today? He said, I know. Don't talk about it. I now started to wonder. They are sons of prophets. Why are they not following Eli Elisha? I mean, Elijah. Why is Elijah, why was Elisha not in their midst? You cannot be friends to everybody. Let your dream choose your friends for you. Why was Elisha not in their midst? At least he met three groups of the sons of prophets. And in each of those groups, there were about 50 of them. He met 150 people that are sons of the prophets, but Elisha did not settle with them. Why? Elisha had a dream that he didn't have. They were satisfied in being sons of the prophets. Elisha wanted to receive the mantle of Elijah. Let your dreams be big. See her here. Number three thing your dream will do for you. We have some prayers to pray tonight. Number three things your dream will do for you. It will determine the kind of problem you will face as you pursue your dream. <laughs> It is your dream that determines the kind of problem you face. Now, if you study the life of David, you will notice when David got to this battlefield, what did he tell King Saul? He said, do you know I faced the lion? It is not everybody that will face the lion. He said, the lion came after me. I faced the lion. Some people will not face the lion. It is your size of dream that determines your size of challenge. Then again, he said, do you know, I faced the bear. I, I killed the lion. I faced the bear. I killed the bear. Oh, no wonder God is bringing now Goliath on my way. So if you are facing a challenge that is, is, is different from that, that every other person is facing, it shows that you have a very big dream. Don't give up. Face the lion that you are facing now. Kill the bear that you are killing now. Do you know why? Because the lion and the bear is to prepare you for the Goliath that is coming. And can I tell you the truth? When you face Goliath, the next thing is for you to enter glory. But kill the lion. That lion may be the challenges you are facing now. Don't let that challenge kill you. Look at the life of Joseph now. 
Because of his dream, the Bible said they hated him. Because of his dream, the Bible said they sold him. Because of his dream, he got to the house of Potiphar. He was working as a slave. Because of his dream, he went to prison. All these things, God allowed it to prepare him because he was going to become prime minister one day. You will get to the place of fulfillment of your dreams in the name of Jesus. But you have to conquer the lion that you are facing right now. I told you yesterday now, I was raised from a broken home. When my dad and my mom separated, I suffered. At times, we would come back from school like this. My mom would be crying in the room. She would be crying in the room like someone that didn't have family. You know why she's crying? She's crying because there is no food to give us to eat. And we children, you know, of those days, we didn't know anything. I will now, now go to her. I'm my first son. When I now go to her and tell her, Mommy, I'm hungry. She will burst into tears more. She will cry more. Cry more. It was that situation that led me to start to do business in the school. It got to a point, I started bringing money home. And I told you how it started. I'll put sweets in my bag. Put biscuits in my bag. Put Kuli Kuli in my bag. And right there in the class, I'll start advertising. It got to a point I had to buy a traveling bag. Your size, the size of your vision is what determines the size of your battles. If some of you eh, want anyhow marriage, you will have been married long before now. Is it not true? But because you have a dream, people that have dreams, they face a lot. Especially when that dream is big. But don't allow the temptation to make you reduce that dream. You will get to the place of fulfillment. The Lord will hear your prayers tonight and open doors for you in the name of Jesus. I can hear your amen very well. David said, I met and fought the lion. I met and fought the bear. Now I have strength to fight this Goliath. Can you see? I fought the lion. I met and fed the, fought the lion. I met and fought the bear. Now I have strength. Now, do you know that because of all the things I have faced in the past, even the spirit of poverty knows that I know how to defeat him. I have been battling poverty right from primary school. When my daddy left my mom, it was not easy. I met one man. His father was a very wealthy man. We were talking one day, we we're now talking about hunger. The man asked us, a matured man, going to 50, he said, How does it feel to be hungry? He said, He has never been hungry in his life. I now told him stages of hunger. You know, hunger has stages. There's a stage hunger we get to, you will not feel hungry again. As, we, <laughs> as I was telling him, I didn't know that I have brothers that have also experienced hunger, that are pastors. I have several brothers. All of them say, ah, Pastor Prince, okay, you know that stage one. We talk about stage two, stage three, four. Then the stage where it will look as if you are not hungry again, then the thing will go and start all over again. But today, we can never be hungry again. Listen, I wrote here, don't be bothered if what some people face is just little. Your vision will determine the challenges that will be prepared for you. Don't be bothered. You know, some people, they just finish secondary school, they gain admission to an institution, they finish, they gain admission, by the time they are approved from an institution, they get job, by the time they get job, they get married, by the time they get married, they give out to children, but you never see them at the top. But there are some, all their life has been full of hustling, just like Joseph, just like David, just like Daniel, 
but where will you find them? You find them at the top. So if you are here, you are facing the lion kind of battle. Can I tell you the truth? It is your dream that attracted it. So fight it. You will win. Let's go to number four. The fourth thing your great dream will do for you. It will determine your lifestyle. It will determine your lifestyle. You will see that you will not be able to live like every other person. Your life will be different. I will show you proofs. Men and women of great dreams. We don't live anyhow. Now, let's start from Jesus our Lord. At the age of 12 years old, he started going to the temple to study. The Bible says he was listening to teachers, asking them questions, and everybody was shocked. How old is this boy that is talking like this? He gave himself to study because he wanted to become the global Messiah. What about Joseph? Joseph began to give his father proper account of his brother's errors from the age 12. He would come back and say, Daddy, I had my brothers were telling you that uh, um, one of the sheep died. It was killed by a lion. That is not true. Is that your Bible? It's, it's not true. My brothers killed one of the rams and they made barbecue from it. The Bible says he used to come and give their father evil report. Not knowing that that is the, that is the same skill that will take him to the pa palace in Egypt. The lifestyle of great dreamers is different. Or do, do I talk about Joseph? In the case of Joseph, Joseph was pushed into the shepherding ministry from age 15. That's why when, when Prophet Samuel was invited to the house to come and bless everybody, he was not invited. Where was he? He was in the forest. That was his life. When God now said to Samuel, There's no, I've not chosen anybody among them. They now asked, Sir, do you have any other son? He said, Yes, sir. I have one, but it's with the sheep. He was a lad, 15 years old, as at that time. Then the prophet said, send for him. If you, if you see people of great dreams, their lifestyle is different. That's why people say we are proud. You see, this person is just, he's just too proud. Because he won't mingle anyhow. They will not be fighting on the streets and you will hear their name. Their dream will not allow them to live like that. When, they, when you see them in the congregation, in the congregation of you, the way they will sit, the way they will do their things, people will say, he's just isolating himself. What's wrong with him? He better go to take for you. It's not that. His dream is so big. So he sees every of his time as precious. They had to go and send for David. And I know. Can you just imagine how David will feel getting home? Everybody's everybody's consecrated. Now you know, and consecration in those days is that they will wash their clothes. It must not have any stain to prepare for the coming of the Lord. But he was just coming from the forest, so he will be looking at them. Ah, what happened? Why am I different? And as he entered, the Bible says there was a toss here. The Lord, this is the next king of Israel anoint him now so if you are here you too it's like you don't even understand yourself people say you are you are too rigid some people say you are just too proud somebody say you are people say you are not friendly it's not you it is your big dream don't lose it because you want to come down to their level am i communicating i wrote here the size of your vision will determine your lifestyle. Number five. The fifth thing your dream will do for you. It will make way for you. I come again. It will make way for you. I come again. Your dream will make way for you. Let me tell you one or two of these stories. Um, let me tell you the first one. 
some years ago, um, Bishop David Oedeko, is a man I respect so much, decided to honor the first VC of Covenant University. And I'm happy, I happen to be very close to that family. And Bishop said, when you are coming to altar, come with as many people as possible. We want to honor you. We want to put up a dinner for you. So they called me, Pastor Prince, we want you to go to altar with us. I didn't believe at first. We have a dinner with Bishop Oedeku. When they told me, I said, it's a lie. I just said it in my heart. It's a lie. In the Bishop Oedeku, my burning dinner. So on the day they were to leave, they just called me. We are coming to you, to your place now to pick you. Where are you? I said, I'm in the office. At that time, my house was close by here. So my, I told my wife, my wife said, and we just had a, was it Oyin or Eniola that time? Or Keuriola that time? My wife quickly followed me home, packed one or two clothes in the box, and uh, they met me. I still didn't believe. When we got to Canaan land, they checked us in. Oh, these are the guests of Bishop David. These are the guests of Papa. These are the guests of, they gave me my room. When I slept on the bed, I still didn't believe. I sat in front of the mirror as I usually do. I'm a man of study. I was studying that in case there may be opportunity for me to speak. Because one of the things that life will give you is opportunity. Life doesn't give money. Can I tell you the truth? Life doesn't give money. Life doesn't give you friends. The only thing that life will give you is what? Opportunity. If you miss it, that's the end. But if you gain it, you can get money from it, you get friendship from it, you get property from it. So I always like to prepare myself for opportunity. So all of a sudden, I just had a call on my on the room phone that please, Bishop Oedeko is waiting for you guys at the dinner conference center for a dinner. I still didn't believe until when I got there. The woman now said, Bishop, I want you to meet my son. You know, I told you, when I gave him gift that time, he hugged me. This time again, he held me again. Tight. You mean your son? All these ones didn't move me. We had the dinner. We went back home. I prayed to our hotels. I prayed. The second day they called us again, we are going to his, his house. As we got to his sitting room, I didn't say a word. He said, this is my son. He hugged me again. Right there in his arms. I don't miss opportunity. I just dialed the phone that I have. Tan, 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 you know? And drank. And I said, sir, this is my wife on the phone. I want her to know that I am in your house now. Please speak with her. As she picked the phone, he picked the phone. He said, hello, this is Bishop David Oyedeko speaking with you. My wife screamed and I had to hear. Jesus! He said, don't be bothered. Your husband is in my house. At that time, she was very strong. I want you to know that you will not die. It was prophetic. And he prayed for her. Now, that was not, that's not the testimony I want to share. After the whole meeting, we were just I, the INS that took us, that's Professor Bola INE and his wife, and uh, the uh, Alawiyes, Pastor Mujala, we are our husband. I went with a camera. I don't like to miss events. I snapped. I was snapping everything I saw. I snapped everybody. I snapped the man of God. As we were going, Bishop Oedeko just said, stop. I need a photograph with this tall man. I look at myself. Am I tall? I'm only 5.5 feet. But there was no other person around that I was talking about. And I'm the cameraman too. He said, I need a photograph with you. Then he now beckoned on the man living in his house. Ario! That's the steward. The man came. He said the steward has master degree. But he said he, wants, he has come to serve God's servant. He gave him the camera. He said, please snap me and this tall man. So I stood side by side. You know what he saw? It was not my size. It was my vision. 
I may still be my process now. But he saw something. Don't drop your vision. It is your vision that will make way. If you don't have vision, you don't have way. Am I communicating? Don't drop your vision. And what, what, what kind of vision do I see you should have? It must be big. Even if you have to start small. Aim at Goliath's forehead. It must be big. As I was going, all of them were looking at me. Even Pastor Muji and uh, 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 the Ionis. This man is not tall. Then the next day, when I came back, you know, when you have relationship too, you must be very, very careful. So if you are not careful with relationship, I went straight to my mentor. Because it's possible he might see that I've gone to Bishop Oedeko, his own father. So that it will not be as if it's Pastor Prince Free double gaming. Do you understand what I mean? I went to my sister, something happened though, and I got to Bishop Oedeko's house. And we took photographs. I showed him all the photographs. I said, but I kept telling him one thing that you are my father. And Bishop said, I see. The second day, Bishop Oedeko called him by himself. He said, a young man came to my house. Can you see that it is wise that I've gone ahead? He said, his name is Pastor Prince Will. Do you know him? He said, yes, he's my son. He said, that man will be very great. One thing you must know is that if your vision is big, it will make way. If it is small, it will not survive. Small visions don't survive persecution. It is big visions that make way. Did you hear me? If your vision is small, it will not survive. Our brother that was running his Okada business to feed his family didn't survive the times. The one that was, was running Okada business to become great. Today, he has, he drives a Mikra. From day one of our ministry, I've been running office system. Listen, wherever a true man of big vision appears, people will know that this one has vision. Everything about him will show it. Let your dream be big. I will lead you into some prayers very soon. But this is what God said I should tell you. Let your dream be big. Even if you start small, still maintain that big dream. You must have a going to. Ask my wife. Every single time I'm driving, I drive a jeep, you know. Every single time I'm driving and we drive past one vehicle. I always tell them, that's my dream car. Lexus 350 Ash color Every single time we drive And we, the car passes I tell my wife That's my dream car I've passed Micra My vision will not allow me to even buy Micra Last question I want to answer What should you do with your vision that big vision what should you do with it what should you, should you do with it protect it do what protect it because people will do everything to try to make you drop it when they are saying you are proud they want you to drop your vision when they are saying Nibon in Nigeria, it cannot happen. They want you to drop your vision. When they are telling you that uh, you are trying to do like uh, you are trying to do like this, eh? They, are they want you to drop your vision. Protect it. You know when I took up an assignment 
to go to the Elebu Church this year. I met a pastor when I went for evan I, I, I go for evangelism. When I went for evangelism, I went alone. I was distributing ambils, going from house to house, shop to shop. I met a pastor that I know very well. I said, Sir, I just want to give you the ambil of our church. I've been, uh, I've been posted to this branch. He looked at me. He said, You have been posted. Are you not the general of us here? And I said, But I'm under God's authority. He said, he said, God posted me here. This is my prime place of primary assignment. So this Sunday, we had one, one woman came. After the message, after the service, she said, please, sir, give me your telephone number. I was giving it to her. He said, sir, in Yoruba, she won't say she be a baby in me. I will not say she be a baby in me. I mean, the pastor be.
but they didn't give, give up give up on their vision the bible says the more joseph dreamt the more his brothers hated him the bible says he got to a point the brother of david came to him and said you this boy what are you doing here come and go back to the ships you protect your vision the devil wants to use people to kill your vision the devil wants to use circumstance to kill your vision in fact some of you you are no longer talking about your vision again you are giving up already because of what you are facing you are, you, are, you, are, you are gradually allowing your vision to fade because of what people are saying. Protect your vision. Do what? Protect your vision. When God called me, you know how this, called, this church started? It started under our staircase. I didn't want to start. God was talking to me to start, but I was afraid. It was one prostitute. I, up to today, tomorrow, I don't know where that woman is. Our church, our where I was living that time was behind Independence Hotel at Okebola. The woman just came, knocked our door, and spoke with my mom. That I used to hear somebody praying every night in this place. Can I talk to him? My mom said, It's my son. That's how I used to pray. So the woman came in. He said, Are you the man that used to pray? I said, Yes, ma'am. I was just 20 something years that time. And she told me the story of her life. How she went into prostitution. That she was happily married. For 10 years. But because she couldn't have a child for her, for her husband. They live in Abba. He said the, the husband went to impregnate somebody else. The moment that one gave birth to a son. They came to chase her out. That she came to Ibadan to see one of her uncle. At a pattern that sells building materials. Only for the uncle to betray her too. That was how she started with one of her friends. Let me manage with you. The friend would say, let's go out to so so and so place. That was how she became a prostitute. He said, but your prayer used to touch me. Sir, I want to become born again. Right there in my room, I led her to Christ. She now said, but do you know, can I tell you I'm HIV positive now? But where is your church? And this is me that God has been talking about to start a church. I just someone called me. I said the church is here. Come on Sunday, we are going to start. So I spoke to some people to join us on Sunday. But that day that that woman came was the last day I saw her. She didn't even come to the church on Sunday. God only used her to make me start. Protect your vision. Don't trade your vision for anything. Because if you uphold your vision very well, it will carry you to the presence of kings. If you throw it away, you are throwing your vehicle into kingship away. See, I will not throw my vision away. And what kind of vision do I say you should have? It must be big. Aim for Goliath's head. If it's a dream to do business, let that think of big business. Even if you will start small. If it's to go to school, think of heights. Even if you are going to start small. Be on your feet. Listen to this first prayer point. You will say, I turn on now the light of the, the eyes of my mind. I turn on now the eyes of my mind. Begin to see deep things and big things. Let it be open. Listen, some people's eyes in their mind is blind. That's why they don't see beyond the natural. Do you see anything good happening in Nigeria? They say, I don't see any good thing happening. Because the eyes of their mind is blind. If you tell, talk about Ibadan, 15, 20 years ago, nobody will ever think of that in Ibadan, there will be store that people will be going somewhere like ShopRite, uh, 
okay small nobody will ever think of that Ibadan was known as a place where nothing good happens but look at what is happening now people whose inner eyes are open they saw it and they started planning towards it see after me I turn on now the eyes of my mind for exploit in the name of Jesus open your mouth and begin to prophesy it begin to prophesy it I turn it on eyes of my mind come on I turn you on now for exploit in the name of Jesus let my mentality begin to change begin to prophesy my mentality begin to change my mentality begin to change my, my mentality we are working now in the name of Jesus are you prophesying are you prophesying you one room kind of my mentality I rebuke you from my life in the name of Jesus let my eyes begin to see deep mysteries deep revelation what others do not see let me begin to see it for good the good things that others do not see may I begin to see in the name of Jesus begin to pray turn it on turn it on turn it on the light of my mind I turn you on in the name of Jesus the light of my mind I turn you on in the name of Jesus begin to pray the light of my eyes I turn you on 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 now in the name of Jesus thank you father in Jesus mighty name we have prayed say amen to that say every battle against my vision begin to fail in the name of Jesus open your mouth and begin to prophesy begin to prophesy I command the battles uh, against my vision to begin to fail begin to fail in the name of Jesus begin to pray battles against my vision come and fail come and fail come and fail in the name of Jesus begin to pray everyone attacking my vision I command your plan to fail everyone attacking my vision your plans begin to fail in the name of Jesus my vision we excel my vision will become we come to reality my vision will come to reality let everyone fighting my vision my dream begin to fail in Jesus name begin to pray everyone fighting my vision everyone fighting my dream I say begin to fail in the name of Jesus are you praying for yourself are you praying for yourself are you praying for yourself are you praying everyone fighting my vision begin to fail in Jesus name all you fighting my dreams I say fail in Jesus name thank you father in Jesus mighty name we have prayed and amen take the next prayer I say I, say, I receive now supernatural help to reach my goals now wait before you pray you know what we call supernatural help divine assistance I was reading uh, the story of uh, uh, barista Afe Babalola you know he's a very great barista he now wrote in his story he said when I graduated you know from um, uh, when I was inducted you know finished from law school he says I came out the first set of clients God gave me were oil companies he said that is what made me different from my peers all my clients were oil companies I should help them fight for this help them fight for that he said and they were paying me in millions of naira and dollars in those years Barista Afer is a very old man now when I got to Afer Babala University I was shocked with the great do you know that their, their, their hospital is the only hospital in Nigeria that they do heart transplant we are going to pray you need help at the summary of his story when he was celebrating his birthday he said I was helped by God you need help if all the help you need is just man's self, your journey will not be fast. But if you have access to God's help, He knows who to touch for you. Say, I receive supernatural help to reach my dreams, my goals, my vision. In the name of Jesus, shall we begin to pray? Let's begin to pray. Lord, I receive supernatural help to reach my dream, to reach my goal, Lord, to reach my vision. 
in the name of Jesus. Recada basene, basal supernatural help, oh God. Help from a, from your throne. Help from above. Lekada base. Are you praying for yourself this evening? Begin to ask for help right now. The help, oh God, from your throne for my vision in the name of Jesus to become a reality. Begin to pray for yourself. Lekada basene. Help me, Lord. Father, I need your help. Father, come and help me in the name of Jesus. Lord, come and help me in the name of Jesus. Lord, come and help me in the name of Jesus. Lord, supernatural help. Lord, what are you doing? Lord, what are you doing? Lord, what are you doing? Lord, what are you Are you praying? Basata ya gadaba. Renge de boskene. Begin to ask for help right now. God knows who to touch for your sake. Father, touch those that you need to touch for my dream to become a reality. Father, touch all those you need to touch for my dream to become a reality. For my vision to come to pass in the name of Jesus. Are you praying for yourself? Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Take this one like this. You say, let there be way for my dreams to find expression. You know, when there are dreams, you are the only one that sees it. But when it finds expression, it means it finds the place to manifest. You say, make way for my dreams to find expression. Are you set? Say after me, let there be ways for my dreams to find expression, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, make way for me. Begin to pray for yourself in the name of Jesus. Father, let there be way for my dreams to find expression, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Are you praying? Are you praying? Are you praying? Rekada Baba Base. Shangada Baskende Leboskene. Make way, Lord. Make way, Lord. For my dream to find expression. For my dream to find expression. For my dream to find expression. In the name of Jesus. Rekada Baba Baba Baba. Shankada baskende le bos, rekada baba sendele, renge de baskende le boso, renga yara barabas, lakada baskanda yara baske, shakada baskende le, renge de bosondo yere maske, basata yagara. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. You see, I love this one that I want to call down. I connect to the human helpers I need for my dreams to become a reality. You know, Topia Labi sang it in her song. He called it Angelimi. There are human angels. They are human beings, so, but they act like angels. You need them. You need them. Can I tell this truth? Some people have in their hands what you need, and they don't need it. Some people are looking for people to encourage. I just want to encourage you. Can I encourage you? with one of my properties and you'll be shocked we had at least many years ago I won't forget this one one of the governors I don't want to mention him online this man became a governor in River State he said he was praying on a mountain in Ghana when the man called him one big man I won't mention his name too as he picked the call he said I was just thinking will you become governor of River State ah. he said I don't have money to run he said, who is talking to you about money? Will you become governor of River State? Yes, I will. I will. Wherever you are now, come and see me. I want to make you governor of River State. Now, this governor shared it in a testimony in church, a thanksgiving in church, when he was sharing testimony of how he became governor. He said, they called me and the man said, I will finance you to become governor. Say, human angels. Our president-elect before he became, before he's now president elect, there was a time he was a king maker. Before he now came up to say, Emilokon. Me too, I used to say now, since that day, me too, I'm saying, Emilokon. Sheko Kanyini. Sheko Nikayi. Ah, Emini Rekao. Before he became president, eh, president elect, he'll be inaugurated in May. In May. I went to Shomolu. We went to do something in Shomolu. So somebody was now saying that recent, as at that time, the chairman of Shomolu was his tailor. The man could sew cloth very well. So our president elect that, that time now said to him, I want to compensate you, my tailor. Will you love to become the chairman of uh, Shomolu local government? Ah. That one said, no, sir, I like it. 
answer. But how? I didn't ask you how. Will you like? He said, Yes, sir. As at that time, the man became chairman. The state governor of Lagos State, as at present, was not a governor, was not even vying for governorship. He went to do something in our president elect's house. He said, in the pres- the, the, he na- that time he got angry with the president governor of Lagos, the, the, the then governor of Lagos, Lagos State. I said, This man has crossed his boundary. He looked at her, he looked at her, he just looked at that young man. Will you love to be the governor of Lagos State? That one said, Yes, sir. He said, Go and prepare. You are the next governor. Now he's serving the next second four years, have you? To make it yes. There are kingmakers. And I also saw it in the Bible that some men gathered together to hand over the kingdom. To take no to take the kingdom from the hand of Saul to hand it over to David according to the word of the Lord, which means what the mouth of God said. Some people are going to some people are the ones that will do it. Let's pray. Say after me. I connect to the human helpers I need for my dream to become a reality. Shall we begin to pray? Begin to pray for yourself. I connect to the human helpers I need. That's the last prayer for tonight. I connect to the human helpers I need for my dream to become a reality in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray. Father, I connect. Father, I connect. Let my human helpers begin to locate me. 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 Human angels, where are you? Begin to locate me. Begin to locate me. My name is Prince Willa Falabi. Begin to locate me. In the name of Jesus. The human helpers I need for ministry. The human helpers I need to accomplish my dreams. Where are you? Begin to locate me. In the name of Jesus. Begin to locate me in the name of Jesus. Begin to locate me in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray. 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 You need them. You need them. Call them right now. The Bible says, For God, call it those things that were not as they as though they were. I call for my human helpers. Wherever you are, begin to locate me. Begin to locate me. You are not praying. Uh, uh. You better pray. You better pray. You need them so that you can enjoy speed. Basata Yagara. Legedebos. Shakadaba. Legedegres. Lebabababa. Yagadabase. Legedebosa. Shakadabase. Legedegres. Are you praying? Are you talking to the Lord? My human helpers. Where are you? Begin to locate me. 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 In the name of Jesus. Rabababase. Father, lead them to me. Father, lead them to me. Father, lead them to me. Rabasata ya gadabas. Lebos oto yen gadabaske. Shakadabara. Lenge de bos. Are you praying? Are you praying? Are you praying? Are you praying? Are you talking to the Lord? Leba sende de bos. Shakadabara. Thank you, Father. Begin to thank the Lord for answer to prayers. Begin to thank the Lord for answer to prayers. Begin to thank the Lord for answer to prayers. Begin to thank the Lord for answer to prayers. Thank you, Lord, for by your, the power of your grace, I connect to my helpers. Great grace is at work in my life. Great grace is at work in my life. I connect to my human helpers. Le basata ya gadabase, shakadabase, lenge de baskenere, rabababase. Thank you, Lord. 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 Shababase. Yes, Lord. You are the help that I have. You are the help that I have. Shagadabase. Shagadabase. 
we have prayed. Father, we thank you again. You've done this for us. You said in your word that we should ask and we shall receive. By faith we have asked. Father, please, we also trust and we believe that we have received. We shall return with testimonies and thanksgivings in the name of Jesus. Our vision will make way for us. Everyone with a small vision begin to catch fresh great vision now in Jesus name. You will not die small. Everyone fighting the lion right now receive the grace to conquer in the name of Jesus. Prevail over that lion. Go to the next stage of your glory in the name of Jesus. Father we thank you for your faith and answer. In Jesus name we pray. Turn together from the Lord and receive.